Hello everyone. Welcome to Brain Blitz Audios. Today, we will be looking at how to solve a Sudoku puzzle. Please watch our first episode for detailed steps and tips to solve Sudoku puzzles. Let's begin, shall we? So, this is our puzzle. Let's name the quadrants and the cells. This will be quadrant A, quadrant B, quadrant C, and quadrant D. This will be cell A, cell B, cell C, cell D, cell E, cell F, G, H, and I. We'll also mark it over here so to avoid confusion. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, N, I. Now, quadrant A is equal to cells A plus B plus D plus A. Capital A is equal to small a plus small b plus small d plus small e. Now, quadrant B is equal to cell B, cell C, cell E, and cell F. Quadrant C is equal to um, cell D plus cell E plus cell G plus cell H. And quadrant D is equal to cell E plus F plus H plus I. Now, let's look at each of the quadrants. In quadrant number A, it is written as A plus B plus D plus E. We know that B is equal to 2. So, the other three cells, which is A plus D plus E, will be equal to 18, which is the sum of all the cells sum of all the cells in the quadrant minus 2 which is equal to 16 so in three cells these the three cells a b and e must add up to 16 so the options are 9 plus 4 plus 3 8 plus 5 plus 3 7 plus 6 plus 3 and 7 plus 5 plus 4. Let's look at quadrant B. Now, quadrant B is made up of cells B plus C plus E plus F. We know that cage B is 2 and cage F is 1. So, cage C and cage E will be equal. So, C plus E will be equal to 16, which is the sum of all the cells in the quadrant minus 2 plus 1 which is 3 which is equal to 13 so two cells must add up to 13 so the options are 9 plus 4 8 plus 5 and 7 plus 6 let's look at quadrant c this quadrant is made up of the cells d plus e plus d plus h now None of these cells is known until now. So, 4 cells must add up to 24. So, the options are 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 and 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. Now, let's look at quadrant D. Now, in this quadrant, it is made up, made up of cells E plus F plus H plus I. We know that uh, cell F is equal to 1. So, the other three cells, which is E plus H plus I, must be equal to 25, which is the sum of all the cells, minus 1, which is equal to 24. The only option is 9 plus 8 plus 7. Now, ne the next step is to find the middle number, which is 
Sal-E. In cell E, a number must be common to all the to all the quadrants. Now we see that nine, eight, and seven is common to all the quadrants. We don't know which one, so we'll test each of them. If 9 goes over here, then the option in quadrant B which has 9 is 9 plus 4. So 4 will go over here. In quadrant C, the options are 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 and 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. We will not use the option 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3 because 4 can't be repeated. So, we'll use 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. Quadrant D, the options are 9 plus 8 plus 7. The common number is 9 and 7. 9 is already filled, so we'll use the number 7, which is common to both quadrant C and quadrant D, which is cell H. And quadrant D, 1, 9, 7 came, 8. Now, let's look at quadrant A. In quadrant A, the option with 9 is 9 plus 4 plus 3. And uh, in quadrant C, it is 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. The common number is 3, so 3 will go in case D. And 5 will go over here, but here comes the catch. Here, 4 is again being repeated, and we are not using the number 6. We have to use all the numbers, and no number must be repeated. So, we'll not use the number 9 in the middle. Here, I'll wrap it off. Next number is 8. Let's test it out. In quadrant B, the option with 8 is 8 plus 5, so 5 will go in, in cell C. And in quadrant C, the option with 8 is 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3. Quadrant D has option 9 plus 8 plus 7. The common numbers are 9 and 8. 8 is already filled, so 9 will come in cage H. And for completing quadrant D, 7 would go over here. Now in quadrant 8, the option with 8 is 8 plus 5 plus 3. And the option in quadrant C is 9 plus 8 plus 4 plus 3. We see that 3 is common, so 3 will come in cage D. And 4 will go here, but here 5 will go, which is not possible because of the same reason as when 9 came in the middle. So we'll not use the option 8 in the middle. So the last common number is 7. So we will use a 7 over here. In quadrant B, the option with 7 is 7 plus 6. So in cell C, 6 must go. Now the option in quadrant C, which has 7, is 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3. In quadrant D, the options are 9 plus 8 plus, option is 9 plus 8 plus 7. You see that 7 and 9 is repeated. 7 is already filled, so 9 will come in cage H. Completing quadrant D, 8 will go over there. Uh, in quadrant A, we'll not, we can't use the option 7 plus 6 plus 3 because 6 has already been filled in quadrant B. We'll use the option 7 plus 5 plus 4. Between 7 plus 5 plus 4 and 9 plus 7 plus 5 plus 3, the common number is 5. So 5 will go in case D. And the number 3 would go over here and 4 over here. We can see that no number is being repeated and each number from 1 to 9 has it oh, has its own cells plus 4 plus 4 plus 2 plus 5 plus 7 is 18 2 plus 6 plus 7 plus 1 is 16 7 plus 1 plus 9 plus 8 is 25 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 9 is 24 
So let's fill in the numbers. Four, two, six, seven, one and three nine eight voila we have solved this puzzle we hope you found this webisode interesting for more useful videos please subscribe to our channel rain blitz audios until the next webisode take care stay safe bye bye for now